tracking right now because I'm going to the city tonight to celebrate my friend's birthday. So I got my toiletries here, my hair stuff, like a hair crimper. These are the heels I'm wearing tonight. I haven't worn them in literally a while. I got my perfume and then the Sol de Janeiro um, Cheerioso, which is basically almost done. I brought the newer bottle to my work so I could have a body spray. But I haven't tried the other ones, but so far I really like this one. I'm also packing everything in my base bag. I am obsessed with this bag because it just holds so much, honestly. Like, I've been traveling with it when I went to Phoenix, going um, to just away for a weekend. It packs everything. And they just came up with a hot pink color, so I kind of wish I got that one. But I still like this one. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another channel. I feel like my intros are always me in the bathroom, but... This is where I'm at. It's 9 in the morning and we're getting ready for a very fun, eventful day. I still have so much to do before I head to the city, but I figure I just grab the camera and bring you guys along with my day. Give you guys some school updates, work updates, life updates, pretty much all that jazz. But yeah, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it always means a lot to me. We are so close. 1k we we're like almost there we're literally almost there so we'd appreciate for that follow and check me out on all my socials so you guys can stay updated with me and yeah let's just get on with the video i did my nails yesterday um i bought these like gel kit from amazon so i've been doing like my own nails i'm like trying to learn how to do more designs except my thumb came off like the nail so i have to like redo it but i figured so I also have a really, really cool work event next Friday. It's very like formal black tie attire. So I bought this dress, which comes in on Monday and I just can't wait. Like I've always wanted to go to like a gala event and I'm finally going. So we're very excited about that. I'm not gonna go into more details about it because I don't wanna expose like my work or anything. But yeah, so today is my friend's birthday the one I went to Costa Rica with we're going to the city we're gonna go dinner we're gonna go dancing which I'm excited especially after like my work week definitely needed this and then yeah just be in the city um so I'm gonna go buy her gift today of course I waited like last minute but and then I'm gonna head towards her like later in the afternoon okay so I'm gonna give you guys like a school update kind of just like where I'm at what's my planned all that kind of jazz but so i only heard back from like one other school which was loyola and if you guys are now i graduated from loyola chicago and i did not get in and that one kind of was like ouch um but i actually talked to my um the chair of the department that i graduated from with my major and i just kind of because he's also like involved with the law school I just kind of wanted feedback basically and he's just saying that it's because a lot of applicants applied and since I applied later it definitely probably was just because there was no more spots and so he's like it honestly is a good thing though that I'm working right now because I'm getting that experience and he goes and a lot of schools actually like to look at that experience um I'm still waiting for two more schools for like their decision and then well three like two for actually like to let me know like waitlist is waitlisted accepted or denied um and one is here in Chicago one is out of state I think still in New York I forgot I still had one more school in New York but that one I'm not really like I think there's like a really chance on that one but then Suffolk Law. I still have not. I'm still waitlisted. Um, I've not really heard an update. The thing that's hard about like being a first-time applicant is like you don't really know what to do. Like, do you keep waiting? I already sent my continue letter of interest, but like, do I keep pushing? I'm just like worried they're gonna let me know like in July, and I only have like a few weeks to move, and that's gonna be very stressful. Um, at this point. I rather just get accepted here in Chicago because it's closer and my plan is still to like transfer so it would be just like easier for me in the long run 
but yeah that's pretty much with like schools right now i really don't have an update and i check every day so but i just don't know um what to do at this point because it's just hard being the first time in this whole process you don't really know what to do yeah that's pretty much it work is doing really good i feel like i'm like learning a lot and like i'm being able to learn new like different position stuff and um like new areas of, like laws and I'm, like writing this all down and like every day I'm like oh my god like this is gonna help me so much when I'm in law school like already like I already know because like it now that I've like incorporated like my daily life my work like and now it comes to me like the different types of laws um and like how the system kind of works um so I'm very happy about my work right now and that's why I kind of try to think maybe about the positive side about because yes, ideally I want to go to law school this year. I didn't really plan two year gap year, but my plan is if I can't get in this year, I'm gonna apply for the May program. So then I would take summer classes, um, but I would start yeah in May um, instead of like the fall. But it gives me another year to work, and that means more experience, and more opportunities, and also to save money. Um, so I'm kind of trying to think of like the pro aspect about it. Um, so that now leads me to like my next step like with scheduling and everything so starting in May I heard someone I was watching like tips and tricks because what I want to do now is like write down my trials and errors of like the LSAT and like rethink about what I need to do and what I need to do differently um so that's what I'm gonna start with and I, I saw this like an advice earlier which it, makes sense they they said like don't set a month goal because you're gonna start thinking okay oh my god i have two months i have one month and i did that all the time like oh my god i only have one month or i have a month and a half and i think that's what kind of like freaked me out a little bit because i'm like the test is coming up the test is coming up what if i'm not ready what if i'm not ready and at the end of the day like you're never gonna be ready but i think that's what i'm gonna go in the mindset like Obviously, I'm not going to push a test back like this time again, like past December, because now I know my trial and error, I, I probably late, you know, and for school, especially that kind of were like earlier, or maybe filled up their seats. So I'm going to keep my mindset like, okay, I do want to take the test within the same year. However, let's not set right now, like an exact date, because I know that's going to freak me out. So we're going to get in all to that. I'm going to email schools, actually. I'm still waiting for it, just kind of see like an update and then I'm going to start planning like okay let's write down my trials and errors learn from that and then pick a study plan so that's where I'm at pretty much completely about this whole process basically my whole process of my journey to law school is a trial and error so it is raining outside so much which kind of sucks I know it's supposed to rain like all day so it's going to be so cold when we go out but I'm going to show you guys what I got at Marshall's for my friend. There's so many cute stuff and there was so many things that I wanted to buy for myself. Okay, Marshall's is like packed right now and since I hate filming in public, I'm going to make this super quick. Um, so I got this like face globe like roller, which I wanted so bad for myself, but I was like, it's not for me. Um, I did get something for myself. I needed like chest tape or like strapless shirts and especially because of my event next week i'm wearing this nice sparkly black strapless dress and i don't have any stickies um this purse also i wanted it for me but look it's so in right now it's like a nice beach like bag material but it's like white and it's such a cute shoulder bag um and then i got her like a claw clip from kish i think that's how you pronounce it and then last but not least, it was so funny because I was just like looking shirts for myself. My friend is such a huge plant person, like huge plant person. Her whole like house and room, especially when we were in college, was like covering plants. Literally says plant mom. I was like, I have to get this for her. It's so perfect. And luckily I have a like birthday bag um, already at home, so I'm going to pack it up. But I'm going to go to Target to run some little bit errands and I'm going to go home wax my eyebrows because they're definitely like need in for a wax pretty much just like relax until i take the train so, okay i wrapped a little bag with this little tissue paper in this bag so i pretty much have everything set i just have to 
fix everything here and then fix my two nails because two nails already popped off. And then I'm gonna wax my eyebrows. I was debating, do I even blow dry my hair? Because it's raining outside, but I also just feel like my hair looks kind of gross. Okay, I'm gonna go with my Dyson to just blow dry my hair a little bit. I don't like blow drying my hair, but I just feel like it's gonna get all nappy if I don't. So I'm gonna do it back. My wax warmer is warming up. I got this from Amazon. Honestly, highly recommend it. Like, super, super good. I waxed my underarms and clean, like, completely clean. Painful, but it works. Okay, right, so much better. The Dyson also just gives so much volume in your hair. Um, but I'm going to touch off my hair in two weeks. I have like little low lights, but it's becoming like a little bit more caramely and like red, and I don't like that. Um, so I kind of want to just go a little bit like ashier blonde. I'm not trying to go full blonde again because I like my brunette, but I want like a nice ashy brown kind of light for the summer. Okay, I fixed my nail. Um, I fixed these two because this one ended up popping off on Target, but I'm just pretty much gonna relax. Everything packed now. So, so I'm just pretty much gonna go watch some YouTube videos until I have to start leaving like in an hour. Hi you guys. So it is Sunday now. I am officially back home from the city. I didn't really vlog while I was out, just like bits in here, um, just because I was trying to be in the moment with my friend and everything, and it was like a very interesting night. Um, we went to a lot of different like dancing places. Um, one called Underground was just not the move. Definitely just felt like it was like a frat party. Um, and then we went to another place, which is actually really called... Cool. Really cool. It was called Celeste. It's by Joey District, if you guys are from Chicago. And it was different levels of like dancing, and like there's actually a really nice restaurant. However, like halfway, it was just kind of like not as popping that we kind of really thought it was going to be like. So it felt like a little flop, but we still kind of had, like, had fun because we were enjoying the music. And then we pretty much got back, tried to watch a movie, but we just like fell asleep completely we were so tired because we walked a lot and then this morning we went to get we had breakfast I actually had a smoothie which I should put in the fridge it's like a kale apple spinach smoothie and then we actually ended up walking around went some shopping it did not do too much damage I did a little control and then I just headed home on the train and I'm exhausted so I'm gonna show you guys what I got and then I'm going to take a nap before I started editing this video. Okay, so I was, we went to Zara, um, and I was trying to look for more, like, work tops for the spring, and I really like these work tops I have. I have a white one and a blue one, so I went ahead to go get this nice pink one. I really like the material. It's very, oh, my camera's not focusing, but it's very, like, refreshing, and it's not, um like too see-through at all because there's like a built-in like support for it so I'm very excited I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wear this tomorrow for work and then I got something at Sephora um I've been wanting to get this for a while it's the glow recipe blurring pore drops so you can either put it with your skincare or if you're about to do your makeup like prep your skin with it okay so this is what it looks like I'm gonna take it out of the bag it's basically a serum um, so I'm probably will just use it during my skincare, but you can use it as like a pore treatment and you just like use it for the AM PM and then after it, you put your moisturizer or you can use it as a blurring primer. I really like the milk primer right now. So I think I'll definitely just use this as a serum. So it's very, very tiny for the cost of it, but you're only supposed to be like a little bit. So obviously small goes a long way, but yeah, like I said, I am so tired right now. It is. I believe, yeah, it's already 5 o'clock, so I'm going to take a quick nap because I have to go to the store for a little bit, um, to grocery shop for the week, for the work week, and then edit this video so you guys can see it on Monday while you're seeing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little fun video, um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it always means a lot to me. Check me out on all my socials. I was pretty active this weekend on TikTok, so check that out if you guys haven't seen it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.